Okay, doing a little impromptu uh, thing. I, I I was recently uh, on my birthday. I started getting all these all these old toys that I wanted to get that were from the Kenner Action toy guides that were in the, putting us inside all the little toy Kenner vehicles back in the day, and it led me to grab some RoboCop stuff because I haven't really had any of the later era stuff like towards the end of the line in '89. I had the original RoboCop figure, and that was literally it. Um, I never really got into the toys. But I used to always see them in the guidebooks. Like those little, because Kenner would include these little to Kenner action toy guides. And it was essentially like a booklet inside the vehicle or a boxed Kenner toy. And it would have uh, sh sh uh, pictures from different toy lines they were making. So they had one, um, they, had, they started it really in 1988. And I think went for about 10 years until Hasbro absorbed the company and then they stopped making them. But the very first one was in 1988. Now it has mask split seconds in it, Sky Commanders, Bone Age, I think. And then after that, you go into the, you know, it's Robocop, and you hit the 90s, and everything went from there. So I saw these guys. Uh, they're all from some one, one seller. I paid varying prices on all of them. But I thought it was cool because I wanted to have at least, uh, like, three, like, Robocop and two good guys. And then, since he's the headhunter, is apparently the Vandal's leader. So I wanted to have him and then two bad guys. I still have to get Toxic Waster, but I have Scorcher. Now, what's cool about them is when the line first came out in 88, they didn't have a lot of figures. Like, it was literally just Robocop and the three Ultra Police, Wheels Wilson, Birdman Barnes, and Ace Jackson. And then for the Vandals, it was Headhunter and then Nitro, and that was it. And then they had vehicles. They had the Skull Hog for the Vandals and the Robo Cycle for the good guys. And then they had the Robo One police car, and that was in 1988, and that was it. So they had him. And then they went to 1989, and they started making all these other guys. Now, what's cool about these now is that since they have Toys R Us stickers on them, and, you know, years ago, it used to be annoying when you'd get carded stuff and they have stickers on, especially from, like, Toys R Us or KB. But now I think a lot of people are like, you know what? It's, it's almost like a piece of history since Toys R Us is, for the most part, gone. So they put this on price for $3.98 and originally retailed for $5.99. So it was 6 bucks, and they knocked it down to 4 um, So I don't think the line was doing very well back then. Even um, this... Uh, Claw Callahan, who's the weapons expert for the Ultra Police, he was also five ninety nine. You know, his sticker rolled up, and he got knocked down three ninety eight too. And the seller uh, bought Scorcher here, which appears it was from Child Child Royal Children's Palace, and he cost five ninety nine as well. And then they had him special value originally five ninety nine, now four ninety eight. So I'm like, oh cool, <laughs> he looks. Freaking insane. Which makes sense if he's going to be some crazy blow flamethrower guy. And then he comes with caps and all that other stuff. Now what's cool about this is that they had... They made... This is the Vandals have the Destroyer team. And that's where you had Scorcher and Toxic Waster. And then for the good guys, the Ultra Police, they had the Ultra Police Assault Squad. And this was the new thing for 1989. So it was basically like a new sub-team for more badass fightings. Um, I don't know if I said what it was. Uh, yeah, weapons expert and claw. Now, Claw Callahan is a key member of the Ultra Police Assault Squad, which is a secret police squad specializing in dangerous assignments outside the city limits. Claw Callahan is the only officer able to accurately manipulate the long-range Ultra Claw, a key tactical attack and rescue weapon. And I always appreciate when toys came with little... You know, bios about who they are. That was kind of cool. Um, and then Torpedo Thompson, Ultra Police Ballistic Expert. Uh, for Torpedo, it says, Torpedo Thompson, the Ultra Police Top Class Nuclear Weapons Expert, Torpedo Thompson levels all the evil vandals remote outposts with his long-range torpedo launcher. He is the leader of the Ultra Police Assault Squad and is called in for especially dangerous assignments outside the city. So I was like, oh, okay. So these two guys had to kind of get together. And then Scorcher... Uh, the Vandal's fiendish pyromaniac leaves behind charred ruins in his rampages through old Detroit. A feared destruction specialist, Scorcher uses an awesome flamethrower to melt the tires on ultra police vehicles and cut off escape, or to destroy police headquarters room by room. Now, so these are guys with the 89 line, so they had a new thing going on, but it wasn't enough to really keep the line going, and then it went away. But what's interesting about these, these are 89, Okay, and there's a lot of stuff on the back of this thing, like RoboCop and the Ultra Police, the ultimate law and law enforcement, collect all these figures and accessories, and you can help RoboCop stop crime in your neighborhood. Cut out 
fold and save, I, I guess. I, don't know how to say. I think it's funny that you're supposed to cut this out and fold it and stuff. But all these different things they show, a lot of these didn't get made. Like the Robo Tank, that never came out. Um, so we didn't get the Robo Tank. Let me just turn the flash off because I think it's glaring too much on the card back. Um, so the Robo Tank never came out. Uh, the Robo Jailer we got in Series 2. Same with the Robocopter. And the Vandal 1, that never came out. It was never released. But if you're an eagle eyed Kenner collector, uh, Kenner did reuse this vehicle as the mobile assault vehicle for the Terminator 2 line, which they would release in 1991, two years later. All they did was they added a. Uh, let me see if I can show you, because I've been looking at it. Um, all they did was add. Focus, if you could. Focus, there you go. They added like a Terminator skull right here where that little vent is, and then they gave it like a, a big missile launcher instead of like a three missile launcher, and they got rid of the windshield. And they added like a control panel thing, which makes sense because when you see Terminator sitting in it, he looks so big. And it's because, yeah, it wasn't designed for him, it was designed for like Headhunter to drive around and other Robocop sized figures. So the Vandal 1 didn't come out, but did get reused later. Uh, Ed 260 came out. The Robocycle got reused in the Batman Dark Knight collection as the Bat Cycle. The Skull Hog got reused in the same line as the Joker Cycle. They just replaced that black missile on the front with a Joker face. The Robo Command did come out. Um, that I have on the way here. He's going to be my standard Robocop. The Robo Hawk, which is some weird little pudgy looking like jet that can stand on its own, that never got released. Um, the Robo Glove. That got pushed into another Batman Dark Knight uh, toy line. There was some sort of roleplay uh, Batman outfit, and it came with this type of glove. So this is a prototype. It looks like it was just a concept. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a proof of concept or a rough, it wasn't actually production ready. But if you look at the Kenner Batman roleplay outfit, it has a glove just like this that shoots missiles. So it looks like they kind of just borrowed the design and ported it over to there. Um, that came out. I don't know if this Robocop... I don't think the Robocop Robo Voice came out. I don't think he made it. But Scorcher and Toxic Waste were the last two Vandals to come out. Robocop Nightfighter, he was available as a mail-away in Series 2. Then they made him an actual carded figure as part of the Assault Squad. Uh, Gatlin Blaster Robocop was another Robocop made just for the, the Assault Squad. And then Ann Lewis and Sergeant Reed came out in Series 2. And then Head, um, Chainsaw and Dr. McNamara came out in Series 2 also. So they had kind of like three series, maybe like really like two and a half. Um, so they did, it, did, it did last a little while. What's neat about the line, though, is the first bunch of them, like all these first guys, they all have uh, backpacks that hold caps. But once you got to the uh, Assault Squad for the Ultra Police and the Destroyer Squad, or Destroyer Team for the Vandals, they got rid of the caps in their backs and put them in their weapons. So, like, Scorcher's gun has a spot for caps to go in it. Like, that that makes the cap go off, and that shoots the missile, and it comes with caps. Which is, I think, better, because then the figures themselves don't have those weird big backpacks sticking out of it. Like, he has, like a, 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 like, a fuel tank, and it has a little hose that attaches to it. And even for uh, Torpedo Thompson, like, you can see, he doesn't have any of those weird big things. Because <clears throat> I remember that on my old Robocop figure. Like, it, it, it kind of got in the way. So, these are the ones I kind of wanted to go for more. Especially since... The uh, Robo Command Robocop. He doesn't include he his, his arms come off. He can be swapped out with those other cannons on the vehicle. So I thought that was pretty neat. So I said, okay, he'll be my standard Robocop, and then I'll have Claw Callahan and Torpedo Thompson as his Ultra Police buddies, and then we'll have Scorcher and Toxic Waster whenever I can get him, and then uh, their leader Vandal, the Vandal leader, uh, Headhunter. Did they have bios for these ones? I don't know if it did. Um. Oh yeah, the bios is underneath him. Uh, so Headhunter is the king of crime and the leader of the Vandals. He doesn't think anybody can stop him with his magnum rifle and electro crowbar. Yeah, so what I'm probably going to do, because the Skull Hog is a two-seater, I'll probably have, I'm going to probably track down the Terminator mobile, com, uh, mobile assault vehicle and then just basically take off all the Terminator stuff and make it into the Vandal 1. I won't really customize it. The, the, the Terminator vehicle is actually red and black, which matches uh, Headhunter's colors. So it doesn't make, it kind of just, it works anyway. Um, and it has a missile launcher still, just a bigger one instead of like, it doesn't shoot three, it shoots just one really big missile. So I'll probably get the Terminator uh, mobile assault vehicle to turn into the Vandal 1. And then, then Headhunter, Headhunter can drive that. And then I can have a Scorcher and Toxic Waster right on the Skullhog. Because as you can see, it has two seats. 
And uh, I've had a friend who does own it, or did own it. It's, yeah, it does say two people. So then that'll, that'll seat all three of them. And then I'll just need to find a vehicle to drive the Ultra Police Assault Squad around. I want to get the Robo Jailer, because it looks really cool. And it has, a, has, a, has like a gun turret on the top. I can see two people. It has a place to put the criminals in. But the Robo One isn't too bad, but it only seats two people. The Robocopter isn't too bad either. But since I'm, I'm getting the Robo Command and it goes on the ground, I figure I should get the Robo Jailer. So that'll be one of my things to hunt down. Like, I didn't want to go crazy and buy like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. I just went on eBay and I grabbed these, uh, these four figures. Because they're all from the same seller. He gave me a, a small discount. I said, you know what? It'll save on shipping. I'll get them all from the same guy. I don't have to worry about hunting them all down. I think out of the, all of them, he was the cheapest. He was, like, very expensive, like, less than $20. He was 30-something. Um, he was 20-something. And he was almost 50. I was like, what? Torpedo Thompson? Why is he almost 50 bucks? And I looked at the listings on eBay. He didn't go for that much before. But this guy, for whatever reason, wanted to charge, like, almost $50 for him. I think I might have paid 45 for it. I said, you know what, like, it was all from the same seller. I said, to heck with it. Just because it's easier to get them all shipped from one person. Otherwise, I'd be, otherwise I'd be paying extra money in shipping if I got it from him. And so I said, it's fine. Um, and then the Robo Command is getting shipped. Uh, I haven't gotten it yet, but it should, it's, it's on its way. It should be getting here this week. And then I'll do, like, a little unboxing of that to show people what it's like. Because not a lot of people talk about the RoboCop figures, and they were pretty cool. They're not really the same size as, like, Star Wars figures. They're definitely, like, the size, they're, like, maybe Batman size. But they look neat. I don't need to try them out. <laughs> it's so funny how his artwork, he's like, I'm ready to kick butt. And then his face is like, please, God, don't kill me. I only have three days till retirement. Like, he doesn't look that tough. <laughs> but, but I do like how it's like, like, Torpedo Thompson's face really does kind of match his. He's like, let's blow stuff up, man. Like, I'm the ballistic expert. I use nukes to destroy bad guy facilities. It's like, um, hang on there, Torpedo. You're getting a little crazy. And even even Scorch is like, man, that's that's insane. I don't shoot nukes at people. I just fire. God, you're crazy, man. Special value. And I don't know what's behind this. <laughs> but probably uh, rapid repeat, uh, rapid repeat cap firing uh, action, which, which they claim is a shot a second. So I don't know if that's accurate. But I will have to tr open these up and try and see if these caps work. So I'm curious to see if they still operate. I did like how all the Ultra Police had, like, Ultra Bulletproof Armor. So they all had, like, painted or vac metalized. I don't think this is... This is yeah, yeah, it's vac metal. You can't really tell from the... Turn the flash off. Yeah, it's vac metal. You can't really... I actually don't even know if it is vac metal. It might just be paint. I think it's just paint. I, yeah, I think it's vac metal on the vehicles. Like, yeah, I think the vehicles, it's vac metal. So, like, on the Robo Command, that blue right there, that's vac metalized. Uh, but the uh, to make it like bulletproof armor, so that's vac metal. Like all the blue on the vehicles is vac metal, but the figures I think it's just painted blue. Like it looks kind of like it, but it's not. I have to check because I don't have any other ones. These, these just just these two guys, and it doesn't look like they're. It I don't know. It's hard to tell. It kind of does. Maybe it is vac metalized. When I get them out of the box, so I can like check them out. I'll know for sure. Yeah, I think it might be because I can tell the way the torso looks. I think they. All right, so yeah, I think they are vac metalized. Very cool, though. I'm excited to bust these guys out, but I will wait for Robocop to arrive before I do that. And then I'll just need to get Toxic Waster to help the Vandals have more bad guys. I don't want to get anybody else more than that. Like, I didn't really, I was looking at Dr. McNamara, but I'm like, I don't really want to have more than three on it. I don't, I don't want to go full on into this line. I just want to get a little taste. So I figured just getting these things, you know, two vehicles... For each side, three figures, that's that's good enough. Just enough to get a little bit of the scratch the itch, as it were. All right, this is Boggs from Obscure Toy Files. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief little look at some carded Robocop toys I bought. Stu stay tuned to this channel, and I will do some unboxing with them. <clears throat> probably, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to play with these before I turn, I turn the camera off. So you'll, I will unbox the RoboCommand vehicle when I get it. But these dudes are probably going to be out of their boxes before then, because I know how I am. <laughs> I'll definitely bust somebody out. I did just get some Megaforce stuff recently, so I have to think what I want to open first. Hmm. This is hard. It's, it's a Kenner kind of month. We're doing Kenner does it best, you know. So, like I said, that's why on my birthday I went to the store and I grabbed a whole bunch of Kenner action toy guide things I'd seen. I got two carded Savage Mondo Blitzers, four packs. I got a Kenner... Uh, 
Batman Night of the Mask of the Phantasm Total Armor Batman figure. And then I got two Mega Force vehicles. Because I've always wanted them. And I remember my friends used to have them. And I finally got them. And then I ordered Robo Command. And then I went and got these. So I'm like, it's Kenner, man. We're doing Kenner right now. We're in a Kenner mood. Kenner Action Toy Guides, baby, all the way. Man, I'm telling you, I used to look at those booklets for decades. Like, since I was a kid, any field trip I went on, I pulled those booklets out. <clears throat> a Magnum rifle and an electro crowbar. I don't know what that means, but okay. All right. Well, we'll go right now, and we'll see you guys next time on the Obscure Toy Files. Take care.